So welcome guys to Tonschul TV with another video on our international channel for you, our international audience. And we have something really special for you. <laughs> Let's say it how it is, it's the future yeah. you're holding in your hands. It's the future of footwear. Um, you already saw other brands are doing something like this, like Nike, Puma, um, but Adidas sent us a prototype. One. One, one huge leap. Yeah, totally. So, amazing boxing and um, difficult uh, <laughs> unpackaging. <laughs> but these are the Adidas Future Craft 3D prototypes. Yeah. We are holding in hand. So, you know the upper, it's the Ultra Boost, but the sole unit you haven't seen before. It's the Ultra Boost uncaged, by the way. So, you saw already customized shoes. But the, the sole unit, this is amazing. It's a 3D printed, means um, <laughs> you do something on the computer and the computer um, gives it to the printer and the printer is printing your shoes. So the concept behind it is called Store Factory. Yeah. Adidas is working on this concept for years and um, they want to uh, reduce the time that shoes need on ships between Asia and the market. So when they produce a shoe, Sorry. they need up to 40 or 50 days on a ship. So 40 or 50 days where the shoes are just lying in boxes on ships. So what to do? Hey, let's produce them in store. So have a store factory where you can say, hey, I'm a customer and I want this wide Ultra Boost uncaged and I want a personalized sole unit and then the store owner just says, okay, let's measure your foot and then we'll print it, take a cup of coffee, read a magazine, go to a movie or do groceries. But when you come back, your shoe is finished. And this is what Adidas says is store factory, where they reduce the time for customers to get their own personalized shoe. And this is the first prototype. As a, as a perspective of a store owner, just imagine every store gets his own yarn, for example. Soulbox is getting a black silver yarn. Undefeated is getting a camo yarn or something like this. And uh, so you get your own CI in and you have the, the good thing. You don't need to stock on one shoe every size. It's just you, you need the raw material. Somebody's coming in and saying, hey, um, I don't know my size. And you say, no problem. We, we just uh, do a 3D footprint and um, you deliver right in time. So it's a, how you call it, just-in-time delivery. And um, I guess this material you can recycle. So good job. And it's good to see a prototype in, in real life. So um, all the companies are doing uh, prototypes and uh, posting only pictures or mock-ups. But this one, and good job, buddy. We had them on feet. When you say, wow, you can't wear them, they will break. We had them on feet. I we had them on feet. <laughs> he had them on feet. And they're still in one piece. So first, before we talk how it felt, we show you some uh, on feet images and some product shots of this prototype. Amazing shoe. So now you see how the shoe looks on feet and that it works, but how do we like it? When you imagine an ultra boost and the feeling of boost on your feet, so this is not the same. So yeah. the shoe is absolute lightweight, yeah. um, but the feeling on feet is, a, is, is quite different because it's not like sinking into clouds. Yeah, the cushioning, or, cushioning is different, it's uh, the cushioning more is stiff. Diff it's, it's not like, yeah. like, the, like the boost. Uh, 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 technology. You've more stability, I guess. Yeah. Even without the cage. Um, but it's and, comfy, and still comfy. Counter, for, for me, it was still comfy. Totally comfortable and it's stable. So, um, from this perspective, great. So, having these shoe, the future, or however you want to call it on feet, um, was, was a great feeling. We liked the first impressions we had, right? Totally. And now there's only one question. <laughs> what Why? happens if you step in shit? 
Okay, now we only have two questions. Yeah. What happens when you step into shit? What happens when it rains outside? And uh, what happens if you yeah, run through mud? How do you get them clean? How do you get the shit out of there? But <laughs> the second question is, they're not what you call a beauty, right? In my eyes, they are beauty. So in my eyes, they're not I, a beauty. <laughs> no, I, I don't like these. <clears throat> these they're, they have the color of bones. So yeah, can but you this have is, them in something blue, you can, black, white, yeah, whatever? you can color in. I, I'm pretty sure you can color it. It's maybe the, the idea to have the purest version of a shoe. Yeah, so... Maybe Adidas can comment on our YouTube video Thank too. you very much. <laughs> Are these paintable? <laughs> and um, now we want to hear your opinion on these sneakers. Yeah. How do you like them? Do you think that this is the future? Do you think that uh, maybe another brand could deliver something else, something better? Or <laughs> do you think that this is top notch how we think it is? Yeah. So it's uh, the next uh, step in, in, in footwear yeah. production. So I guess it's... Um, We're super excited. It's and it's clever. Yeah. So I, I do my own shoes now from home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any brands anymore. I have a 3D printer. <laughs> I get my clothes uh, 3D printed. Yeah, and we can measure how <laughs> they <laughs> get bigger and bigger. Um, no, no, I do me, uh, how I call it? A corsage. Whatever he wants. The girls are laughing. <laughs> yes. Not only the girls. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, let's get uh, back to topic. Hit the thumbs up button. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel and then we see us next time around here on Tonsho TV International. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.